Hey Scorpio, what's up? Alright, so this is going to be a reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Eight of Swords in reverse. This is awesome. This is awesome, Scorpio. I'm getting someone here who probably was living a lot in their head. Okay. This is someone here who was living more in their head. Okay. This person could be caught up by this uh, by other people's expectations. Maybe this person was not doing what they wanted all this while. Rather, they were doing things to please other people. They were too uh, intimidated or they were too caught up with other people's opinions. Could be family, could be friends, could be the world, society, whatever. I feel there was someone out here who was stuck in a situation for a very long time. They weren't being able to pursue what their real happiness was. Now I feel this person that you're dealing with is definitely releasing themselves, okay? Getting out of their head. Trusting their intuition and wanting to follow their heart and wanting to do what they want to do. Which is why with the Ten of Cups, this person sees you as wanting a happily ever after with you. Okay. This person wants kids with you. They're, they have the happily ever after with you. They're very, very happy uh, about wanting to be with you. They want kids. They want that fairy tale. Okay. They see you as a wish come true for you. You put the Nine of Pentacles here, my friend. I feel that you have probably had a separation, a breakup, okay? Somewhere, somehow here, I feel that there has been the situation where you have tried to force this person a lot to give you commitment or this is what you wanted with this person all this while. But this person out here was probably refusing to give this to you only because they were stuck in their head, okay? They were thinking logically. They weren't trusting their intuition. They were more focused on what other people expected them, okay? Expected from them rather than uh, doing what they wanted to do. Now, it's like you've almost let this person go. You're very abundant. You're very, um, <coughs> sorry, financially secure. You're, you've reached that high level of independence, high level of abundance where you're okay where you are, you know. You could be doing very well uh, financially, okay. But you've reached a point where you don't really care about this person anymore. Not in a bad way, but it's like, okay, oh well, that didn't work out. Okay, that's your attitude here. Uh, how does Scorpio view this person or the connection with this person? The fool, Okay. Looks like you are letting this person go and wanting to probably start a brand new beginning. Uh, either with this person or probably a brand new chapter on your own. Now, I will take one more card. Give me one more card for how to scope you view this person or this connection. I please to see. You're trusting your intuition here, Scorpio, of course, right? Knowing how intuitive you are, you are trusting your intuition and your intuition is probably telling you to hold back. Probably this person here right now is not in a connection, is not in a condition where they can listen to what you have to say, okay? Or what they even want to hear. So right now you're being very, very mindful about what you want to say, what you feel, etc. There's a lot felt within you, but there's a lot that you're not talking about. You're not saying it. Okay, but deep down here with the fool and the high priestess here, I feel that you're ready to let go of this connection and take a risk. I think you've given this connection a lot of chances, a lot of chances. And now probably you've reached a point where you know what, you're like, that's fine. You know, I no longer control things. What flows, flows. What crashes, crashes. I'm just going to let it flow. And that's what you're doing. You're, you're trusting your gut. You're trusting your intuition. This time around here, you're choosing to keep your feelings to yourself because either you feel this person's not ready for it or you just feel it's not worth it. Okay? How does this person do Scorpio or the connection with Scorpio? Ace of Cups. Give me one more card. Ten of Wands. Okay. So this person out here is clearly wanting a brand new emotional beginning with you. Okay, this person is very, very overwhelmed. Okay, emotionally, this person's love, cup of love is overflowing. Okay, but with the ten of wands here, this person is choosing before they can come to you, they're choosing to end a very big burden out here. The ten of wands is a cycle where this person has the urge, okay, of giving up already. They know that this connection is probably too burdensome, okay, or probably they uh, view this connection as something where they already have so many other responsibilities, so many other things on their head where this is something that can wait, your connection can wait here, but they definitely look forward to having a connection with you, okay. With the Ace of Cups here, this person wants to come and tell you how they really, really feel. With the Ten of Cups here, they want a happily ever after with you. And you, on the other hand here, are going the completely 
the opposite direction. Okay, somewhere, somehow you're scoping, you kind of have an idea that this person probably wants you, okay, but it's like you know they're coming back. If there is a separation here because this person was not making a decision, choosing to keep themselves tight and stuck here because of whatever reasons out here, they felt restricted. Okay, they felt like victim mentality, they felt paralyzed out here. You have just let this person be where they are. Okay, so I feel there are chances you're not talking to this person and you've just, uh, you know, it's like, I'm just gonna let you be, all right? Because I'm no longer wanting to fight for this connection or no longer wanting to invest into this connection anymore because it's up to you. If you want this, you come to me. If you don't want this, that's still fine, okay? What is the mutual energy between Scorpio and the person that they're dealing with? <clears throat> Eight of Cups in reverse. Both of you right now are at a point where you both are not being able to walk away. Okay. You probably need to walk away from something that not, does not serve you any longer. This person needs to walk away from a, from a situation walking towards their Ten of Cups, but they are choosing to be in their comfort zone. Okay. Both of you have the Eight of Cups in reverse, but the mutual energy does not always mean that the intentions are the same. Okay, it just means that both of y'all are still sticking to your comfort zone. Okay, both of y'all have uh, that fear of what happens if we let go of something. For you, it could be something different. For them, it could be something different. But both of y'all here are just not being able to forget each other, not being able to move on. I feel there's a very strong sense of emotional uh, vulnerability that both of y'all are trying to probably run away from. But you're both very, very emotionally invested in each other. Okay. Uh, what is the root of the issue for Scorpio and the person they're dealing with? Two of cups in reverse. So there has been a breakup out here. Okay. There has been a breakup. There has been a separation out here. I'm getting here one person who probably could be uh, <clears throat> um, afraid of relationships. There could be someone you know, who's scared to be in a relationship or scared to give into a relationship. This could be someone who's scared of commitment out here. But it's like right now, there is a lack of negotiation. I do feel there's a breakdown in communication between you both for sure here, okay? But right now, it looks like there is no communication. There is no clarity out here. Both of y'all have a lot of love for each other out here, but you're not seeing eye to eye right now, okay? Uh, give me one more card for the root of the issue between Scorpio and the person they're dealing with. One more card. Three of Cups, okay? There could be a lot of other people involved here is what I'm getting here. Now, this could be a third party situation. I don't see this as cheating, but I do see this as uh, probably uh, family, friends, you know, coming in between your board, trying to, uh, you know, sway this person away or there is a third party influence here, which is stopping this person from pursuing you, okay? Is also what I'm getting here, okay? Which is why with the Ten of Wands here, I feel that this person views this connection where they want a new cycle with you, but they do feel with the Ten of Wands here, it is too much or it's just too burdensome. And they have the urge to uh, give up on this connection here, okay? But with the Ten of Wands here, I do feel that this person is already carrying so many other loads here. Although deep down, they would want to start this new cycle with you. But there is this sense of where, oh my God, I have so much already on my plate. How am I ever going to be able to get give time to this here, okay? That's what I'm getting here. Uh, what does Scorpio feel deep down for this person that they're dealing with? The judgment. <clears throat> One more card for what does Scorpio feel deep down for this person? And the Six of Pentacles. Okay. What does this person feel deep down for Scorpio? Moon in reverse. One more card. Justice in reverse. This person clearly knows, okay, they clearly know that they have not done justice to you here, okay. Uh, <clears throat> you, on the other hand, here with the judgment, the six of pentacles here, I feel you've made a final decision here, okay. Or this person here, if this is this person here, they've made a final decision here, okay, deep down here of wanting to invest into this connection. The willingness to put in the in effort out here and the willingness to want to balance out this connection out here, okay. This person out here, whoever this is on this side out here, with the moon in reverse and the justice in reverse here, there is some kind of clarity here that this person has got. They're releasing some kind of fear, stress, anxiety out here. Something is clear out here and they do realize with the justice in reverse here that something's not fair. Something's not balanced out here. Okay. Um, okay. What action will Scorpio take towards this person? Eight of Pentacles. One more card. What action will Scorpio take towards this person? Wheel of Fortune. All right. What action will this person take towards Scorpio? Charity in reverse and one more card. 
hierophant in reverse okay so right now it does look like this person out here is still not being able to move towards you okay because there are a lot of blockages here i feel this person here is holding back right now because they don't have the willingness and determination a lot of obstacles and delays a distance could be a problem between you both here okay and uh, b with the hierophant in reverse i feel this person here there could be a traditional uh, that could be coming between you both here there's a lack of commitment both between you both here okay this person is probably coming off as non committal which is why this person is probably feeling that there is no point moving forward out here because they are not being able to commit to you right now you on the other hand here i feel you are putting a lot of work on an individual level trying to focus on yourself your money your career your goals your finances you are trying to work towards becoming a better a better person and a better version of yourself out here and with the wheel of fortune here i feel that you have literally let this be to god okay you have kept this to the universe here that you know what i'm trusting my intuition and i'm moving forward if this person has to come in they'll catch up here okay is what i'm getting here but with the chariot reverse and the hierophant in reverse here, i feel this person out here is still not ready to make that move forward okay they're not prepared yet to give you that commitment that you want from them okay like i said there could be elders there could be other people's opinions tradition uh, this could be someone non committal or someone who just is not ready to commit or cannot commit to you okay what's the moon in reverse what's the moon in reverse strength see this person here has a realization okay they 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 have a realization out here that they're not being able to give you what they want okay or what you want out here and they know things are not fair here okay they know something's not balanced out here with the strength here it's taking a lot of courage from them to hold back from you this person's holding back here trying to tame the situation as much as they can uh give me the best possible outcome for scorpio and the person they're dealing with okay Okay so there is a very very strong reunion here okay with the lovers here but possibly there are choices out here someone needs to make a choice out here about what they want to do so if it was in the reverse i would have told you that this person is still making the wrong choice out here but with the lovers upright here i feel that this person here there is going to be a reunion here between you both you know how tarot works right it is predictable this could have happened is happening or will happen here okay so i feel with the death in reverse here there is still a pattern a negative pattern that's repeating itself all right so i feel this person is still going to come back around they're not going to let you go okay they won't even be able to give you what you want but at the same time here with the 10 of cups here they want that happily ever after with you you fulfill them emotionally okay which is why they keep coming back towards you but with the lovers here there is also the strong realization where they know they're making a very strong choice from the heart where they want you and uh it's like this reunion where the soulmate twin flame connects away they no matter what they do they cannot shake off this connection here okay so with the death in reverse here, what's the death in reverse what's the death in reverse six of wands here so someone out here is not letting go but again they're going to keep trying again you're dealing with someone here who wants to again keep trying this connection over and over again but the only difference out here is that they keep trying the same thing expecting different results So I feel with the death and reverse, it is someone who is resisting a lot of change. Okay, this person knows that in order for them to come towards you, they need a certain change, probably a certain thought pattern, a certain negative pattern, uh, probably let go of old uh, belief systems that don't serve them any longer. But they're just not being able to do that. I feel someone here is very rigid, very rigid, very uh, someone you know who does not like to uh, go by the rule book. Okay, someone here who probably feels or probably someone. is that it's very very difficult for you both to be together in uh, something legal or probably get married or committed because you both could be very very different people or very very coming from very different uh, places religion whatever it is all right but with the death in reverse and six of wands i think this is someone here who wants to keep trying the same thing and try to make things successful it's like you know they will keep trying 100 times okay till it doesn't work out but they themselves are not ready to do what it actually requires to make it work out yeah okay maybe this person needs to just break the protocol whatever it is something is a taboo for this person out here okay you and them together is a taboo here probably that's how something is look probably uh, they could this could be an extra marital affair where now you're married and this person wants to marry you or you want to marry them but you're already in a connection out here or you both are married something like that okay but something is a taboo out here and the, which is why what's the charity in reverse here 
See, eight of wands in reverse. This is why this person is holding back communication here in their actions. This person is delaying communication and purpose. They're holding back communication and purpose because they're not being able to give you that commitment out here. Regardless, the best possible future between you both is with the lovers here. You guys will come back together, okay? There is going to be communication here. This person is going to acknowledge that they love you, they want you, they want to be with you here. But the only problem is that this person is still not ready to make that change out here, okay? Which is why there is going to be another boring cycle where you're like, you know what? Been there, done that, I've seen that before, okay? But yeah, with the six of wands here, this person's hell-bent determined to make this successful with you, okay? This person wants your attention is also what I'm getting here, okay? You don't give them attention, but they want your attention out here. Uh, give me one card for the three of cups here. Let's see, what's the three of cups here? The emperor here, okay? So I really feel that this could be a family member out here who's who this person is under influence with here. This person out here who you're dealing with, there could be someone who's influencing them who could be a father figure, Someone who could be like the head of, uh, you know, probably the family or uh, someone who's very strict, someone who believes in structure, someone who's very authoritative, okay? That's the kind of person who's influencing this person out here from coming towards you, okay? Like I said before, there could be someone here who's very rigid, but someone here who's very dominating also at the same time, okay? This is someone here who's not being able to stop, who's stopping your person from coming towards you. So like I'm telling you, the love is there, this person is emotionally committed to you, they want that happily ever after with you. But when it comes to giving you something legal, when it comes to giving you commitment, family or a father figure or someone very dominating, okay, a dominant masculine energy is around your person out here who is stopping your person from coming towards you, okay. Um, I think with the judgment and the six of pentacles, yeah, I also feel that you have made a very strong assertive decision about letting this person go. Okay, I feel you're cutting this person out here. Why? Because you feel that with the six of pentacles, yeah, you want a connection which is balanced. You want a connection where there's an equal give and take. Okay, you don't want someone taking advantage of you. You don't want someone where things are not balanced here and where you're putting all the work and that person does nothing about it. Okay. So I feel that deep down here, you have a realization and it's more like, you know what, I'm going to take action. I'm going to cut this person off. If they're coming, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be here. There's this huge realization here. Uh, tell me about the Eight of Swords in Reverse. Eight of Swords in Reverse. Nine of Cups here, yeah. So this person out here is releasing themselves from whatever mind, uh, state of mind they were in and they're moving towards their wish fulfillment here, which is you. So again, with the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Cups is not really a bad card. Yes, it can be marriage. But I would have preferred the Ten of Pentacles here for that legal marriage or something where there is stability, commitment, where other people know about you and them. You get that? With the Ten of Cups here, this person is looking for a happy ever after with you. But with the Ten of Pentacles, this person is announcing it to the world that you guys are together. You get what I'm saying? Like a label on the connection, the family, friends, everyone. There's an acceptance. That I don't see yet. Okay, I only see that this person wants this with you and they have a huge realization that you are the one that they want and they can't walk away from you. But if you're looking for a commitment here, uh, it's on the horizon, but it's still going to be delayed. Okay, but this is one of the reasons why this person is not communicating with you. But I feel in the immediate future, they will eventually break down. They will come back towards you and there will be communication. There is a reunion here, okay, with the lovers here. This person can't let you go. This is a connection which is a deep, deep, deep emotional committed bond okay where they know you belong to them and they belong to you them and they belong to you them and they belong to you